So if you're a game developer like me, you know this feeling. We've got an idea for a world, but that idea is stuck, isn't it? It's stuck behind the work, the hours and hours of drawing every single tile, the grass, the stone, and all the transitions. But what if we could just describe it? This is the Pixel Lab AI Map Workshop, and it's not just another pixel editor. It's a workflow. It's designed to be a collaborator, to help us get from blank canvas to playable prototype fast. This is about augmenting our workflow. All right, here you can create your maps and your tile sets. I'm gonna click create new tile set and notice we have two slots, lower terrain and higher terrain. I'm gonna drag and drop my own custom grass tile into the higher terrain slot. Now for the lower terrain, which will be our riverbed. I'll type calm river blue water. And as you can see, we have transitions as well and we can choose the size. So I'll choose large and I'll keep the default prompt, but you can prompt anything that makes sense with the tile set. And look, the AI generated the water and all the transitions between my custom grass and the new water edge. It's a perfect mix. I'm just gonna fill the background with our grass. And now let's grab the water and paint in a river for our level. All right, so now that I made a quick sketch, I wanna start getting more details on the map. Make it an actual environment. So I was thinking maybe we could add a wooden bridge. So I'm gonna click the inpaint map button, select the area where I want to inpaint, and then draw exactly where it should do the actual inpainting. The area outside of your drawing is basically like context for the AI to know where it's at. I'm gonna prompt a wooden bridge on the water. And there we have it. Now we can cross to the other side. Now that we have our bridge, I'm thinking we can add maybe some props. Let's start with a nice tree. I'm gonna click the Create Object button, select the area. I'm gonna type in beautiful pine tree in a forest. And boom, you can now select, move, and duplicate the object. So keep that in mind. In painting is static. Objects can be moved and manipulated. And as you can see, we also have a Edit in Pixelorama button for every object you make. That way you can fix up your objects instead of redoing them every time you don't like something minimal. Here's the thing about AI. It's great at getting us 90% of the way there. But in game dev, that last 10%, that's everything. Okay, but what about our main character? We've got our character sprite right here on our desktop. Let's just drag the file and drop it on the map. That's it. It's in. It's ready to go. Now you know you can drag and drop any asset you have in your computer right into the map. All right. So now that we covered that, I think we need another tile set. We only have grass and water right now, but I think we should probably make a dirt path. So let's do that. I'm going to click the grass tile and then the plus button. Here we can select if we want it to be the upper terrain or lower. So I'm gonna choose upper. That way the dirt tile is the lower tile. So this way we can connect already existing tiles and make new ones that work together. I'll prompt a yellow dirt tile and boom. Now I can draw a dirt path and have a more dynamic map. I think we can finish the video off by making a little post office for the map. I'm going to prompt a front facing compact red brick post office with a flat gray roof, centered glass entrance on the bottom, a blue postal sign above the doorway, and let's see what we get. Okay cool, there we got a pretty nice brick building. We can of course edit it in Pixelorama if we want to change stuff up or we can keep making more buildings and assets for our map. And yeah, <laughs> I think we covered a good amount in this video. Make sure to comment what you think, if you have any questions, or just to show some love. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.